Right Edition, welcome. Happy day. A television evangelist kind of guy the other day, he was asking his followers to donate money to him so he could buy a private jet. He says, this will be the fourth jet that I've had and I get to spread the word, of course, and I need to fly around versus walking around. It's only $54 million. Send me money. And a lot of people, of course, are up in arms about that. They're protesting and others are just sending the money. And to keep in mind, again, it is the fourth one. And the guy also went on to say on television, if Jesus would have had an airplane and look what would have happened, right? That's kind of funny, but I suppose there's some credibility to that as well. I mean, you can only walk four, five, 10, maybe 15 miles a day if you're already kind of hiking along and preaching all the way. And look what he did do. The best salesman in the entire world, everybody in the world knows about Jesus. And he sent his 12 disciples off with sandals and no motorized vehicles. And this guy says, I can do it better with an airplane. You got to kind of smile at him. And I hope he gets his cash from all of his followers. It's Father's Day it's coming up. And I got an email the other day from iStock Imageries. And it was kind of cool. And the headline says, Masculinity Gets a New Look. And it's a picture of a father hugging a son and the father looks like a real man he's rugged looking he's got a beard and all this other kind of stuff and i'm a he man and get out of my way and it's about time don't you know i mean i was kind of worried we'd have somebody else in the pictures so it's kind of nice to know that we got him time to have real men i remember when men were men and women were glad that they were it's kind of nice to see them out promoting masculinity conservatives they believe in small government and individual liberty went with that liberty comes responsibility for one's own actions and that individuals should benefit from the fruits of their own labor. Not the labor of others. Conservatives believe in equality of opportunity. Pretty straightforward stuff, pretty simple stuff, kind of makes a lot of sense. Liberals, on the other hand, believe the government should control the quality of the outcome of a nation. It's all about activity and very little achievement, but in any event, they believe that they should push forward with that agenda and that they should intervene with society's woes, and if they don't have any woes, create some to solve collective problems by taking the fruits of some people's labor and distributing it to others, you know, distribute it to them, whoever they choose, transfer the wealth. And by definition, you know what? That's socialism, and socialism is, is a bad thing. I, I mean, like communism is a really bad thing, and that's just socialism in a hurry. And you have all of these liberals that, you know, I, I don't know that they even are think anymore. They just kind of get together and their heads rattle around and they come up with these crazy ideas. And, and yet it's okay for them to have money, but they want to take everybody else's money and distribute to other people all of the time. It's not just about money. It's about, you know, getting these awards just to show up in schools and other places. I, I mean, it, it takes something away. I, I mean, you take your nerves away, I guess, and, and, and close your eyes, put a bag over your head. And I guess, I guess you're supposed to follow them. And, and, and it, it's not practical. It doesn't make any sense. Jim Carrey, he's a a noted politician, comedian, I think he's a politician. He's originally from Newmarket, Ontario, I think. I think he's Canadian. In any event, recently, kind of for the second or third time that I've heard him at least, he's expressed his displeasure with the Republican or right-wing or capitalist system uh, and government in America. I don't think that's his place. God put you on this earth, Mr. Kerry, to entertain people. Get your big paycheck and go home and smile. Don't try to tell us that you know, you know stuff, right? He was all mixed up in the gun control talk and the gun lobby talk a while ago. Of course, nobody should have a gun except bodyguards for him. And now he's saying that the NFL, uh, you know, the, the uh, players should be allowed to kneel if they wish. And it's got nothing to do with the country and who cares about the country anyway. And he goes on, of course, to call Trump all kinds of names. I think he better move back to Newmarket or go somewhere and keep your mouth shut because uh, you have a flag. And, and I think people need to honor that flag. This isn't about the president. This isn't about the football players. This is about the nation. This is about being a patriot, and he's missed that. Square dancing. Apparently, it is a uh, tool of white supremacy, and it's an effort to uphold whiteness. I, you know what? I can't make this stuff up. I, I pulled this from some newspaper. I mean, really? You're going to dance a little bit, and you are a racist. And, and have you got that? Kind of throws the color of everything off, doesn't it? Not only on the show, but the color of everybody, white, dark. <laughs> I mean, get over yourself. These liberals, these people, they are so out of touch that, that, that you know what? It, it's... Um, I got words that I'm not going to share with you. Y'all come back here tomorrow and go dancing tonight, particularly if you're white. Go out and kick up your heels and we'll see you later.